Peace, everyone. Hey, Karen. It's uh, Tamika Lachelle. Hope that's not too close. Anyway, um, I figured I would do a real quick recap on my garden because so much has happened in a week, week and a couple of days. Anyway, so there's a herb box. Um, the sage, the peppermint, um, not peppermint, the pineapple mint, more sage. Um, I put in, this basil is called, um, bushing basil, it bushes, and I got some new thyme, so we'll see how those go. Alright, so here's like, let me zoom back here, let me see, so you can see it in all its glory. There are the tomato trees, as you can see, it's probably about two times as big as it was last week, and there are so many tomatoes in here, can you see that? Wow, and there's some more, there's so many. Okay, so that tomato is, I forget which one that is, but this is zebra. Let me see if you can see that. Sorry for all the craziness there. That's zebra or zebra tomato. And there's a whole bunch of them in there. See that one over there? It's just huge. It's like, they're all just coming in. They're so, so beautiful. Anyway. Here are my peppers, and I too have chocolate peppers. Um, this one is chocolate, and it's getting its little. Oh wait, that one's not chocolate. This one is um, a regular bell pepper, and this one is banana peppers, and then this one is um, jalapeno pepper. And again, I companion plant tomatoes with peppers because they help each other grow. So, it's my basil, and I did harvest them. I think you can see it's huge. Let me back up some. Okay. I did harvest the basil. That's why you don't see any of the, um, of the, uh, flowering coming off of it, but I wanted to show you how to harvest basil so that you can keep it growing. You don't actually cut it all off. So give me one second to get my scissors. <laughs> Sorry guys, I forgot to pick it up on my way. Okay, so what you want to do is you look at your basil and you want, um, it's called a three, so um, this would be your third and these are two. And you want to do the same thing when you cut the next one, you want that same feel. So this would be a three. See that? There's, um, back out some you can see a little bit better okay so there's one I'm holding two and three and you want to cut in the middle of those t two so you have two shoots coming off off the side so you want to take in um, it rained yesterday so now my scissors are kind of crazy looking hold on one second see if I can zoom out a little bit more okay so you want to take it and cut it right there. So you want to cut right there. Oh, the leaves in the way. I want to see, let you see me cut it. So you cut right there in the middle of those two. Now, um, so you cut that and um, those two, this side and this side will bush out. So you'll have spring outs from that. Um, from the bottom, you want to have at least spring, two spring outs. So you're going to cut at the third spring out. So like, um, I don't know if you can see that, but here's one, here's two, and that's where I cut three. So you cut on the third one, and then your spring outs will be really good and healthy, and you'll have a good stock on the bottom. So you want two, um, what I call threes. Uh, and then at the third three, you cut. And that will make your basil bush out. I only have two basil plants in here, but it looks like I have six or seven um, because of the way that I help them propagate themselves. You also don't want it to flower. Once it flowers, it goes to seed, and it won't produce anymore. I could also cut here. Um, it's a really good one here. So this is one, and that's two, and I'm holding the third. Hold on, I'm sorry. So that's one, I'm holding the third, and there's two. You would cut right there in the middle, and this would bush out again. But I'm going to wait 
um, another two days or so before I do that one so that will have a little bit stronger roots on the bush on the on the sprouts on the side so that's how you cut basil all right um, so my tomatoes on this one this is called large cherries and you can see it's a lot there there's some coming there there's a whole bunch there and some there um, there were some there. <laughs> Sorry, they're everywhere. So I've got a lot coming since just last week. It's really cool. And here is my watermelon. Um, and it's really, really doing well. I'm going to um, let it trellis down a little bit more, and then I'm going to bring it back up to the top of the balcony or patio there. These tomatoes. Let me zoom out. Okay, um, I have to restake this one for whatever reason. It just would not stay staked the way that I had staked it. All right, so look at that. That's about twice as big as it was before. And there are tomatoes all over the place on these. This is a plum tomato tree. So there's some plum. There's some more. You can see that. Um, it's a lot on there. And then the other tree on the other side is aroma. So there's some um, some more down in there. I want to mess with that one too much because it's not staked well. This is my chocolate pepper and look it's got little flowers coming. Can you see that? Uh, yeah. Little flowers coming. Beautiful. Um, and everywhere where you see flower that's where you'll actually get a plant or fruit so um, yeah so a lot of growth in like a week it's been a lot we've had a lot of rain in Maryland as you know um, so there's been you know a lot of growth um, strawberry season is kind of over in Maryland so you're not really going to get any more strawberries but this is the time to cut your plant and so that's what I'm doing here um, as I'm sprouting new strawberries so I thought I'd do like a quick response to what you, you put out there. Hi! Um, so that's the garden. Um, so I wanted to show you that I was doing chocolate peppers too because I thought it was cute that both of us are doing chocolate peppers. I also have an orange in there but it's not flowering yet so we'll see how that one goes. And then I have sweet banana pepper, um, a jalapeno, a regular bell, and another hot pepper I can't think of. I know it's not habanero, but I can't think of what that one is right at this moment. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I hope this isn't too close to my face because I'm not editing. Um, be well, be safe, be peace. Tamika Show. Thank you, Karen, for posting. Peace, y'all.